Hi there, welcome back to Just Making It. Right now we got a cow down and she's getting ready to have a, a baby here. And it's a cow that had one last year. So she knows what to do. She's pushing right now. The feet are out. We're gonna keep an eye on her. She might need help. So I like to see if they could have them naturally. And at, at the last resort, I'm gonna go down and help her if she needs it. So let's see what happens. Okay, we just came down and she had it. So I didn't see what it was or anything, but we're gonna leave them alone. That's her second one. Well, what I need to do today on just making it, I gotta get the tractors ready. We got a lot of field work coming up. First thing I got to do is spread manure and then we're going to get right into planting. So I got little green here. We call it little green. It's the 5300 John Deere. That's the one with the loader. Uh, how many of you guys out there have a tractor that looks like this? You use it every day and um, I'm just amazed at how much I can do with it. Um, this tractor I bought originally, it had 500 hours on it. It's got 11,000 hours on it now. I use it every single day to feed, uh, do odds and ends around the farm here. So let's go ahead and let's clean this tractor up. I'm going to change the oil in it and then I'm going to move on to the next tractor. Well, I did a rough spray around the tractor. I got up into the motor there. I'm gonna be putting the sides back on this side. But now it's time for the soap. I got one of these soap cannons, so I got some, uh, well, I'm just gonna use some regular soap and I got a degreaser right here that we're gonna use. So I'm going to mix the two in my cannon here. The 
the degreaser in with it. What do you think? Do you see a difference? I went around it a couple times. I'm going to leave the dirt on the tires just because I'm going to be using this tractor and I'm going to be going through some fields, grass fields. So, you know, I didn't want the mud flying everywhere. It'll eventually come off when I when I go to use the tractor. Yep, now it's time to change the oil. How often does this happen if you use a uh, tractor to feed hay? See that twine right there in the hub? That's not good. I got to cut that off. There we go. Looks like we got a little twine around the back axle here. So I'm gonna cut that. Actually, I think that'll pull right off. There we go. As you can see, the last time I changed the oil filter on this tractor was 322.23. So a little over a year, it's about due. I got my John Deere filter right here. go that's the one okay it's time to pull the plug gotta get underneath here there we go here it comes this is always the fun part I could never not get oil on my fingers, so I'm wearing gloves this time. There it is. I could use that used oil. I got a lot of chains to lube up. I use that on chains, and we're actually going to coat the... Uh, cattle trailer floor with it okay now it's time to pull the filter take the filter off there you go okay I got the old filter off I got the new one right here I'm gonna take a little bit of oil put it around the ring like that so it's easier to take off next time all right we're gonna put our filter on
little bit more. There we go. Okay, filter's on. Now what I like to do at this point, I like to put a little fresh oil down my reservoir and let it go through with the plug out just to get whatever is in there out just a little bit. So we're gonna put a little bit of oil down the reservoir. About like that. We're gonna let it run out the bottom. The oil I'm gonna to use today is called Ag Guard. It's by ARG. It's heavy duty diesel oil, 15W40. And it is made in Bradford, Pennsylvania. So that's the oil I'm gonna put in. Okay, I put a little bit more oil in there just to compensate for the filter. I know a lot of guys, they put the oil in the filter, put it on. I sort of like overfill it just a hair, just enough to fill that filter. So I ran it. Let's see where we're at. Just a little bit more. Okay, while I'm under the hood here, since I got it up, I'm checking the antifreeze coolant uh, reserve. Looks like I could put a little bit more in there. And this is what I've run in my tractors right here. The Xerex G05. You don't think that coolant makes a difference on those real real hot days i tell you what i've been putting this in my tractors and i see a difference they run a lot cooler it's a little bit more money but it's worth it for me the last fluid i'd like to check is the hydraulic fluid. Let's see what that looks like. Yep, it looks like we could add a little bit. Oh yeah, that's better. Well, I got the tractor looking a little bit better. And pretty soon here we're going to put it to really good use. I've got some greasing to do. i got to grease it all up. But here on the ranch, I don't have a four-wheeler or a side-by-side. -side. Maybe someday. But I drive this thing around. So I use it all the time. Whether to do chores or just check the uh, fields. Thanks again for watching Just Making It.